Well, after a late night of watching the NCAA tournament, you might need an extra jolt of caffeine when that morning <laughs> alarm sounds. I can get on board with that. Yeah. In tonight's Taste with Tori, our Victoria Woodall found out a good cup of coffee is just what the doctor ordered. Time to wake up. Freshly roasted and brewed coffee is hitting all the senses out of this storefront. This is Rich Barrow Coffee, a local Java joint owned by an ophthalmologist just a bean's throw away. I'll be behind the counter and they'll say, is that you? I'm going, yeah, it's me. <laughs> and they'll, they'll get a coffee and then they'll start saying, oh, by the way, I have this problem. And I'm oh going, going I said, that's three doors down. Doc, this is what I look like on coffee. Scott Segan is known as Doc. Our surgeons have to be precise in what they're doing. There absolutely is a science precision that comes to making a good cup of coffee. The doctor whose order in this area was a coffee shop. We needed a coffee shop in Richboro in the, in the worst possible way, and that's why I did it. That's the only reason why. And I love coffee. And he loves getting his beans from around the world, and his brew mistress loves to get those beans cracking right and roasted. It's like I'm listening to its heartbeat or something. <sighs> Today, he's prescribing me his signature latte. Now I'm going to take it over to my prep station where I'm going to tamp it and distribute it inside the portafilter. Now this goes up inside, it's locked in. You can see how it's coming in nice and slow. You can hear the, the crema, oh. that, that, that luscious sound coming down. It's the perfect balance of that kick and creamy. And one of their homemade blueberry muffins. It is so moist and fluffy and bouncy and blueberry. But for St. Patrick's Day, he's giving us the perfect brew ratio for an authentic Irish coffee. Starting with a tablespoon of brown sugar, stirred with regular coffee, a shot of Irish whiskey, and a slow pour of cream. When you sip it, you want to get the cold of the cream and the hot of the coffee. Must be the luck of the Irish. I'm half Irish. Oh, a leprechaun. Oh boy, yeah. that is lip smackingly delicious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a leprechaun. <laughs> right, out so of nowhere. Funny. just showed up um, at the coffee shop. It was in a first for you, the whole brew mistress uh, yeah, term. I've, I've never heard that. Kind of like that term. Very interesting. I'll be a brew mistress one <laughs> <Yeah>. day. <laughs> well, we're going to really need some good. coffee if these temperatures continue, Kate. Yes. This is 